Hey everybody, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today is another edition of Tactical Book Review. Uh, I've been on a reading kick recently. So I've narrowed it down to the first five books that you should read. And these, and this could change in a year, you know, depending if I read other books, they could work their way in the list and bump some others out. But right now, these are the first five books you should read. My idea here is that these five books will progressively build on one another. They weren't written that way, they just will. Uh, they will progressively build on one another in order to build, help you build a American militaristic mindset and skill set. That is the purpose of this book list. So this is not primarily aimed at concealed carry, though it, it could be used for that, and there are definitely some useful books in here for that, as you will see. But this book list, these first five books you should read, are going to help build you a repertoire, a knowledge set, and a skill set, if you apply the books appropriately, in an American militaristic heritage. That's the phrase I'm going to use. So if you want more on that, we can talk more. Comment below. But here's the list. The first book you should read is Pistol Craft by Reed Hendricks. I have separate reviews on all of these books, so I'm not going to go too into depth of them except to explain how they relate to one another. So this book, obviously, as the title would, would tell you, Pistol Craft, it's going to teach you how to shoot a pistol. Uh, again, that's a, an important skill set for a concealed carry person, for a military person, for a police person, for adults in America. You need to know how to carry and shoot a pistol well, because a pistol, of course, you can always have on you. That's what makes them so wonderful, uh, is that we can carry them around in holsters and we can have uh, guns with us all the time that are on a person that aren't cumbersome and don't really impede our day-to-day -day life. So Pistol Craft by Reed Hendricks, great book, get it, read it, okay? The second book that builds off of that is Deadly Force by Masad Ayub. So if you're gonna carry a pistol every day for the rest of your life, which you should, this book is going to help you understand the legalities around lethal force in this country. Uh, so this, of course, is very helpful in that regard. If you're going to learn how to carry a pistol, you're going to, of course, need to know when it's legal to use it or not. This book, Pistol Craft, oddly enough, uh, has a section on legality in the beginning. And what he does is reference this book for the whole section. <laughs> Uh, all he does is reference this book over and over again. So go straight to the source, read this book. Uh, Masada Yub, in case you're living under a rock or don't know who he is, is a renowned lethal force legal expert in, in the concealed carry world. So lethal force or deadly force by Masada Yub. The other thing that this book will be helpful for is understanding rules of engagement as we will cover uh, later in this book series. So pistol craft followed by Deadly Force. The next book then you should read after those is American, The American Rifleman by Reed Hendricks. We have our pistol, we know the laws around that. Now we need to have a rifle because rifles are go to war weapons. Uh, they are also uh, personal, better personal protection weapons because rifles are so much more effective at stopping threats than handguns are. There's a variety of reasons for that but we're not gonna get into that. So you should have an AR-15, you should have an AK, you should have a rifle, an intermediate cartridge general purpose rifle, and you should know how to use it. And this book is gonna help you, help start you off on the correct path there. Then after we do that, we have our skills down, we know how to shoot a pistol, we know how to shoot a rifle, we understand the legalities around that. Now we need to start talking about working in teams with those weapons, primarily your rifle. So that's where the tactical manual, uh, Small Unit Tactics by Max Velocity Tactical comes in. This book is going to help give you an understanding of the tactics, of the movement, of the team-oriented functions with your weapons. Knowing how to shoot your weapons, knowing how to have the skill with your weapons, that's just baseline stuff, really. What we need to progress into next is tactics. How do we use those weapons with other people around? How, how do we employ those weapons in situations? Being able to have a one second draw or you know get quick up on the rifle and get your shots off is great, fantastic. We need to be able to do that, but those are building blocks in the larger picture, okay? So after we get those skills narrowed down, then we need to start saying, well, how do I do that when there's another guy with me or my wife with me or 
whatever. And how do we build on those systems? How do we have when we do six, when we have six people or 12 people or whatever, how are we going to work that out? This book is going to start giving you a primer on that and help you understand how to work in teams. So it's a great book. And then the last book of the first five books you should read is Leadership and Training for the Fight by Paul Howe. This book is going to help you understand the mindset, the initiative, the combat mindset, the importance of applying all these other books that we just covered. It's going to really wrap it up and give it to you in a package of this is what it means to be a team leader. This is what it means to take initiative. This is what it means to have a combat winning mindset. So these five books, if I can stack them up here, these are the first five books that you should read. Because again, they're going to build on one another. They're going to give you that understanding of being an American, uh, of having an American militaristic heritage and starting to cultivate that for yourself. Uh, I will say, disclaimer, right? I probably should have said this at the beginning. None of these books are substitutes for training. Nothing is ever a substitute for training. You should go out, you should seek a qualified trainer, and you should learn how to shoot your firearms. These books are great primers for that and great launching pads for that and great supplements to that. But nothing obviously is a replacement for hands-on training. Shooting, moving tactics, these are all sports in the sense that when you learn to shoot a basketball or whatever sport you played as a kid, you did not sit in a room and read a book about how to play basketball, right? You did not uh, sit and have someone draw on a whiteboard how to shoot a basketball. You went out and you learned to shoot it by doing. Shooting weapons is the same thing. Tactics is the same thing. We need to be reading books to supplement these things and to further our knowledge in these areas. And sometimes we're not able to get to training and we need to read therefore even more because of that. However, uh, they're not substitutes. They're great supplements. So please get out there, read some books. If you need some training on how to shoot your weapons, please come see me. I would love to help you out. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.